and welcome to the Philip Cockrum channel viewers. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. It helps this channel grow and it helps me bring you these great videos that we all love. So on today's show, something a little different. We've got Mustangs, but the driving type for you. <laughs> this is my new 2005 Ford Mustang 4 liter. It's the same as my yellow one back there. Same year, same model, everything. Um, but this one is in near mint condition. It's got way less miles on it and is in really great shape. So um, the reason I need a replacement is because the yellow one is uh, kind of at the end of its time. Uh, mechanically, it's not too bad shape. So before we go over the black one here, we'll talk about the yellow one for a second here, right? So I've had the yellow one since brand new. Um, you know, it's 18 years old, same as this black one here. Um, for a lot of life, you know, I had a company truck and stuff and it was uh, babied and Sunday driven, but then I, you know, things changed and I had to start driving it and um, uh, permanently. And um, a lot of uh, highway speeds on country roads that have been heavily salted it was often early in the morning and the, uh, late at night i had to do a lot of driving back and forth to toronto and stuff back in the day so this is what really got away here these rear quarter panels and stuff on it right and the rocker panels underneath the thing here um he said mechanically it's been pretty good um and it's had a new starter you know, brakes and uh, tires and all that kind of stuff there, right? But um, uh, there's still lots of good on this car, but unfortunately to certify it, you'd have to fix that body. So to sell it to somebody else, they're gonna need that. So I'm just gonna show you one of the differences between the two cars. Get off for a second. So, um, uh, Mostly it's the, uh, it's the interior. So if you see, this one's got silver up here on the dash and the, the um, dashboard lights change different colors. I forgot how to uh, do it, right? But these all change, there's 100 and different, 125 different colors. And you can see it's got four gauges in the center here where the new one only has two. Um, and then also, this here where it says uh, check uh, traction control um this car has a uh, this is the same dashboard that's in a gt so it's an upgraded uh v6 right so that's why it's got this extra computer thing in here and i've got these extra controls and it's not just a trip computer but it also tells you like a fuel analyzer and all that kind of stuff so it's kind of a nice feature but um you know, it's missing on the new one right so anyway um well uh another major difference too between the two cars is this car has dual exhausts on it and the new one doesn't um, and uh from the new one there it doesn't uh, sound anything like that at all <laughs> so that's one of the things that i'd like to do i'd also like to get the uh, windows tinted um on it and uh and i already have big wheels for it so here's a quick look at what they are they're kmc km say 775 20 inch rims here's a shot what they're going to kind of look like on the car and then I'll put a couple at the end of the video of what uh, you know um, these wheels look like when they're on the black and uh, a shot or two of when they were on the yellow one right which I originally bought them for but they haven't been on the yellow one for a while so let's uh, um, might as well just jump right into the inside of this one quick up oh, beeping Sorry, guys. So this one has a silver dash on it as well, but this is an aftermarket added piece, and I think it's kind of like a kit. I have seen them before that you get all these um, stainless steel pieces that 
fit over top. Otherwise, the dashboard kind of looks like this underneath it. Right? It's just all black, that black plastic. So um, that was done by the previous owner. And I'll mention him in a second. So it does have a couple of interior trim up great pieces which i like it looks great in here and uh yeah just show you those gauges so you can see this one doesn't have it only has two gauges there and it doesn't have this trip computer thing that was in here but other than that the interior is the same um it's in perfect <laughs> condition just everything i don't think anybody's even been in the back seat <laughs> ever before on it, so the, the trunk here is, it's, it's like brand new. <laughs> um, let me put the phone down for a sec, I'll pop the hood and then lift it up. All right, I just uh, paused the video and restarted it just to keep some shorter clips here. So here it is under the hood there, it uh, is, has a little bit of dust <laughs> on it. It looks like everything is original, even the battery looks... Uh, I mean, look, there's like cobwebs on it, right? You know, I don't even know if the battery has been, yeah, that's uh, the battery has been replaced, which wouldn't be, you know, 18 years old, right? But um, I'm not sure if he's done the throttle body too, because that doesn't look exactly original. Um, uh, it's one of the things that goes on these things, but uh, everything else, it's in really good uh, shape and condition. It's got a couple of, chips here and there so there's a couple that are right on top of the hood itself too um like he was you know behind trucks on the highway right Getting those stone chips and then there's this one little spot there i thought that was just dirt but that is actually a, a scrape right but it's pretty minor touch-ups you know the wheels are in really nice uh, condition again um so it was a uh, older gentleman. Um, I had to get into too much details, but uh, uh, you know, of course he passed away. The family was holding on to it, I think, for a couple of years to uh, rather sentimental value, but um, uh, decided it was time for a new home. And um, so it was a, a great price for the year and the mileage and stuff on it um, for me. And, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it, right? So, um, yeah, I'm not entirely too sure what we're going to do with uh, Bumblebee, the yellow one here yet. Um, but we'll figure that out soon. So, yeah, I'll, I'll close up the video with a few shots of, uh, you said, what the car's going to look like in the future. Uh, when summer comes, and um, thanks for watching. Thanks for everybody that supported and followed this uh, venture all the way along. It's been a long time looking for a new car or <laughs> replacement for this one and i don't really like the new ones i love this style um and the engineer that designed this and stuff there uh, the throwback to the 1965 I, I just love it right so um so that's our show for you today folks love peace from canada and we are youtube oh yeah we forgot to fire it up doesn't sound bad but I really like to put those duels on it that Bumblebee has. Thanks again, folks.